What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Okay, guys, uh, got a short one for you today. This one's not going to be too long. This one here is uh, an opportunity um, picture, and it's from Sol3839. Um, basically, I wanted to do these every now and then, periodically. I've had a bunch of people jump on board with me here, and I, I do appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, enjoy the videos. Um, this is just to remind people, sometimes I like to do these videos to remind people just how crafty NASA, JPL, the NSA, everybody who's working together into this to hide this from the people, we the people, um, just to show you just how crafty these little devils really are. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to show you the picture that you will get in the link and you can always look for the description. Look in the description under this video. Go to the bottom of the description. You will find the link. You don't have to search for it, um, except for going to the description. Okay. Here's the picture right here. Now you would look at it and you say, well, let's, you know, here's the rover. There's the opportunities wheels here. Um, and let me see if this is the, uh, yeah, okay. Let me just check in something. Um, okay. So when you look at this picture, you say, well, it's pretty barren. You can just tell by looking at it um, that you can see where it's traversed all the way over. And it looks like it might even go into the right. I can't be sure because it is really hazed out. At least this is what I thought. Okay. What's crazy about this thing, two things. One, these wheel marks are not real. At least not from this point on. This stuff is not real at all. They give you this illusion. If you look at this, you just look at it. You can just see where they just travel all the way over. Oh, it looks like it might even go over to the right. I'm not sure if it even goes to the left or not. Or if it even continues on. But it keeps going and it looks like it keeps running maybe over this little dune or whatever. Okay. I'm okay with that to a certain degree. But when you enhance this picture... You're going to find, first of all, these are not real. It stops here. The reason why it does is because there's something sitting here. Well, I shouldn't say something. There's many pieces of garbage, if you will, uh, wreckage, call it what you will. There's something here, and I'm going to show you because I have no clue what this stuff is, so it's all pu pure speculation. Um, and, you know, I, get this, I still get people saying this every now and then to me. Oh, uh, it's nothing but, you know, conjecture and, um, you know, nothing but pure speculation. Yes, I agree. Is there anything else? Yes. We can only speculate what this stuff is. We can only take a guess at what this stuff is because there's no way of proving whether we can go there or not and show you this thing for real. Whether it is real, what it is actually, we don't know. If we anybody who does these videos, if they already knew what this stuff was, they wouldn't be making a video now, would they? So yes. 100% agree with you. Speculation, conjecture, yes. Okay, with that in mind, let's move on. All right. Here's the picture. Of course, you can see it's identical. Okay, now this is what's crazy. If you jump into this right here, because what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to show you these these wheel marks first, and you guys can get an idea. Okay. All right. When you jump into <laughs> this is great. Let me see if it's this one here first. Okay. When you get into these, it appears when you look at these, they look correct. In other words, right from the you can actually see where it looks like, and now it is pixelated because we zoomed into it. Common sense, but you can see where this is like really. Uh, it just, yeah, you can just see the wheel marks, but all of a sudden it gets whiter and whiter, and you go, what, what's going on here? There is some things that are underneath these marks. Now, what I did was, if you look at right here, there's this weird, almost rounded piece. It's one half here, one half here. It looks like it goes down right here on each bottom of these, and it goes around, and it goes up. But this mark, this so-called wheel mark, is actually in the way. On the other side here on the left, look at this. It's on top of something. There's something laying right here. You can see one, two, three long things, and something else like a, I don't know if there's something right here faintly, but there's another line of something. Whatever this is, is literally, this mark is these so called wheel or tire mark, or not tire, but wheel marks are on top of this. Look at this one. This is literally floating on the ground, off the ground. I mean, it's right there. Why? Because it's actually covering these little parts. This is not real. Now, just go a little darker and you can see that. Okay. Now, I really brighten these up so you can actually see the way these things look. They are not real. Look at that. There's just no way. Come on. All right. Now, you can see this becomes a big distorted pile of crap, and rightfully so. Now, all of a sudden, when you check this picture out, see how like this? You can, let's just do this. Watch this. I'm going to show you this right here. Right from the plain, regular picture. Let's do this. Pixelations, compression marks, I'm okay with. Look at the blatant blurring right here. You can see it right across this whole picture. 
See it? Just completely blurred. And then you get the compression box. So, you know, obviously they blurred this thing out. I mean, you can see that. It's just, you can just see exactly where they've done it. Okay. So now you're never, you're never going to pull this whole whatever the heck this thing is out of the picture. It's as plain and simple as that. But what you can do is your best. So I looked at this and I went, what the hell is that? Anybody want to take a whack at this one? Because I sure in hell don't know what this is. Check this out. I don't know what this thing is, but it literally goes down like this, goes around, and it actually goes faintly down in the air. In another picture, you'll see this. But there's something right here, right there, going all the way down, going up and back over to this. So I'm thinking to myself, why? What the hell would do that? That is just crazy. So do it again like this. Now let's back up just a little bit. How far is that thing away from the rover, guys? Come on now. Look at this. Here's the wheels. It makes you look like it's, oh, it's hundreds and hundreds of feet, or maybe 50 to 100 feet at least. It's not. It really is not. Um, I'll give it, if I had to guess, because this rover is kind of small, I'll give this thing 20, 25 feet away. Tops. Tops. And you can see that by looking at it. Here's the wheel right there, lower right. And understand, this is the opportunity. This is like half the size of the Curiosity. And from there to there. 20, 25 feet tops. All right, now let me go into the black plate because this is just a normal, um, this is just a normal uh, CMYK or just the RGB. Let's go to the black plate, which is going to get real bright. But then I'm going to show you this one here. These two here, snapshot nine and ten, are for the black plate. Check this out. I'm looking at this and I'm going, well, this doesn't make any sense, but it does because they're hiding something. If you look all around here, you'll see things that are just laying here. This, whatever this is right here goes up, goes around, comes down. This thing, whatever this thing is, is is part of the front of whatever this whole thing is. There's something laying right here on the left too. There's something right here that goes straight, comes over, and it goes over this way. Almost like a, almost a three quarters of a square of shape, if you will. But whatever this stuff is, it's laying all over the ground. Look at there's some kind of weird, funky-looking thing right here, right there. If you look over to here on this side, oh, it, you know whatever this stuff is, I I honestly couldn't tell you. Something one, two, three hanging down just give it a slight shopping but you can see this thing is not that far away from this rover but again they mess with people's depth perception and that's what this is all about if we can baffle the people with bullshit this is how we get away with it but now you can see these again although it's not very clear these marks are not on the ground they're floating why they're covering things that are laying in front of this rover so the rover didn't run over them it stopped right here literally right about here and then they, these are all made up so guess what it appears that it just kept driving so there's nothing here to see okay and if we go down to the bottom of this one here i just did a slight shopping and a, and, a, and a slight you know try to bring it out just bring out some more detail but you can see whatever the heck this thing is clearly is pretty large and it's just a bunch of junk. I don't know what this stuff is. I couldn't tell you. But something like that is not normal. And it has whatever this thing is. It looks like it has these weird rib type things or uh, sections on this piece. Now I'll go back to the other, which is going to get real bright. Because we're still in black plate. So let's get out of that. And jump back into this. Now these seem to be a lot more prominent. Where you can see a lot more uh, detail in it. So whatever this thing is, is right there in front of it. So two things. One, we know they're faking the wheel marks. They've done this on the Curiosity. It's not just the opportunity. And two, again, when you look at this picture, you think, look how far that thing looked like it drove. It literally traversed. Whoa, look at all that distance. Look at that, look at that. It might have went over to here. It did not. It stopped literally right here. And again, you can see where these look realistic, right in the mud, because it's pretty much the same. Well, I'm going to say mud because it's usually a damp soil underneath. But you can see where it stops, and all of a sudden it gets a little wider, a little wider, and all of a sudden it just faked out. It's completely fake. This is the regular picture, and I can see they're floating, meaning they're not literally on the ground. There's something, it's covering something right here, here. That piece right here, it just keeps going. So whatever it is, we know that this stuff is, is definitely, it's not the distance at all that they're trying to convey to us. It isn't. It's not very far. And whatever this pile of crap is, it's it's literally being hidden. Um, and you can see this has blatantly been hidden. There's something sitting on top of this, too. You can see something right here. 
So whatever this is, they try to manipulate that. Well, they didn't try. They did a great job of it, actually, to completely screw it up. Um, and there you go. So just is just a reminder, guys. It's what we think we know. We have no clue. Uh, but this is just one way that they mess with us uh, to get us to believe, you know, their BS, if you will. So just keep that in mind when you see these. You know, what looks like a barren piece of land that these rovers travel over? Yeah, you may want to dig. So all these guys are getting into this, and I applaud you if you are. Uh, if you want to dig yourself, by all means, you should. I mean, get the picture. You'll get the link again. You'll get it in the description. Check it out. Um, so, again, I'm not going to make this one too long. Just wanted to share that with with you and just, just to give you guys, uh, you know, an idea that, you know, what you think you see, you don't, and vice versa. <laughs> what you don't think you see, there really is something there. Um, so, yeah. You just go back over that, and there you go. So whatever, again, whatever this junk is on the left, all the, whatever this thing is right here, I don't know what this is, but it look, appears to be going inside this whatever this is. I don't know if you can see that right there. It appears to be going inside this other piece. It's a rail of some sort and going into this whatever this huge thing is. I, I honestly don't know what that is. Let me see if I can see it right there. Looks like it's rounded coming right out of this. So, whatever that is, there's actually something right here, too. I enhanced this before, and I can't get it back to the way it was, but it's something like an oval intake, if you will. I don't know. It looks like the air would go into it, but uh, you can't see it very well here, and it's understandable. Um, it's right there anyway, but it goes up like this here, and it's part of whatever this mess is. <laughs> I honestly don't know what it is, guys, but, you know, you guys can give your best stab at it, whatever you guys think this stuff is. I really don't care what it is. But the fact that it is something there, and they've manipulated it and obfuscated it to try to hide what it is. And to give you this idea that, wow, this thing is, you know, there's nothing here, one. Two, it's, it looks like this thing is traversed a long distance, which it did not. Um, so, yeah, there you go. There's the wheels. This thing is not that far. Whatever it was, it's sitting literally. Again, I've been telling people, look, these, these rovers, these, you know, NASA, JPL, anybody who's got their hands in these rovers to get them to function, they know at any given time, uh, whether it be weather, the heat, um, you know, whatever it may be, the conditions on this, the atmosphere at the time or the day, these things could quit at any given time. Do you really think that they're going to waste their time on absolutely nothing? They knew where they, they were going to land these rovers, and that's why they set them down, and they're just having these things look at every single possible thing it can look at. So if it stops here, it looks at it, studies it, send, sends them pictures back, looks at something else, moves on, looks at something. It's not going to sit there and take pictures and waste time when they clearly know they don't have all that much. Now, don't get me wrong, the opportunity's been on there for, what, 10, 10 and a half years? Come on. And this thing's still going. But they're still not going to waste their time because this thing, it, it, exceed, it exceeded their expectations. They thought maybe, you know, a couple of years and this thing was going to go, you know, they thought it was going to crap the bed in no time. Well, apparently it's still chugging on and, and it's going by solar power. So, you know, whatever. But there you go, guys. Anyway, I'm not going to I'm not gonna make this too long. Like I said, I just wanted to, you know, just give a little, you know, anybody who's jumped on board and just give them an idea how they're going about this if you're not aware of it. Um, many of you do. That's why you jumped on board. You know that they're lying. Um, and that's it. And you kind of agree about, uh, you know, just all the lies that are thrown at us. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, got some other ones coming up. I do have the ones with the tubes. I do have the, um, uh, the 67P, another video. I already had done one prior to the Rosetta, um, you know, launching the little, uh, fillet lander on the, um, on the comet. So I've got some interesting pictures you're going to not want to miss either. I'm going to do like a video with a bunch of these, well, not a bunch, but three or four of these pictures. I'm going to show you some little oddities and some anomalies on here that just, yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, just stay tuned for that stuff. And yeah, um, got some good ones coming up for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for jumping on board. I appreciate it. Always, um, you know, I love doing this stuff, so I do it for you guys. Anyway, stay tuned and I'll see you next pick.